And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Um, for our first deck of our Donation Wednesday, you can see that all of our all of our decks today are all donation decks. We got some, uh, we got a fun lineup for today. First up is Vraska Tribal. This is a Vraska challenge. Um, I was donated to make a deck with all four uh, Vraskas that are legal here in Standard. So we have Vraska Golgari Queen, the four mana one, and we have Vraska Relic Seeker. Those are the two you probably see. Uh, more often than the other two. The other two we have uh, Vraska Regal Gorgon. Seven mana, starts with five loyalty, plus two, put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one target creature. That creature gains menace. Minus three, destroy target creature. And minus ten for each creature in your graveyard. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. So basically it's going to be seven mana murder. <laughs> the minus three, destroy target creature. That's what we're going to be doing a lot. Uh, but you never know. You never know. Maybe like we need to like put a one-one counter on a jade light and give it menace to have lethal and, and surprise our opponent. You never know. Um, so we have we have Vraska Regal Gorgon, and we also have Vraska Scheming Gorgon. So we got both Gorgons. Um, six mana for five loyalty. Uh, also has plus two, minus three, and minus ten. So like the same things there, but it's six mana instead of seven. Uh, it also has the exact same minus three, as you can tell. Destroy a target creature. Uh, the plus two, instead of putting a 1-1 counter on a creature, giving it menace, you only just get your creatures plus one, plus zero until in a turn. That one's not too strong of a plus ability. Hey, what's up, Panther? And Zerf. Going good? You feeling better today, Zerf? Hope so. Um... Our minus 10 this time is until end of turn, creatures you control gain death touch, and whenever this creature deals damage to an opponent, that player loses the game. So you get so just like the Golgari Queen emblem, you get that for just one turn uh, with the Scheming Gorgon, and, but your creatures also gain death touch to help you out. Um, dang. Not feeling better. That's too bad. Um, so we have... So our, our main goal here is to get all four Vraskas in play at the same time. Um, the person that donated for to see the Vraska tribal deck here to see if this could work, all the Vraskas put together. Also put an ex extra stipulation that they'll be donating more um, uh, if we get all four Vraskas on the battlefield in any of the games. So we'll, let's see if we can uh, have that happen. Besides the rest of the deck, I just have it kind of like Golgari midrange from last format, basically. That's what we have. We just have like regular old Golgari midrange from last format, but we got some crazy Vraskas instead of Carnage Tyrants, basically. And uh, let's see if it happens. It's, I mean, we have one of these and one of these, and they're six mana and seven mana. Then we need one of our two six mana ones and one of our two four mana ones. Um, yeah, maybe maybe if I like really want to just maximize that, I should just be running like the full playset of all of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to try to get some wins, too, though. So, Vraska Tribal, even the Planeswalker deck, Planeswalkers. Uh, traditional Constructed. All right, let's see how we do. Yeah, the, the movie was awesome. Really enjoyed it last night. So, yeah. Back to the regular time today. It felt like I had so much time today before streaming. Yeah, not streaming until 3. I, I got up kind of early and, uh, you know, to take care of the dogs and everything. And and had a real productive day. Got a lot done. Got um, And now we're here streaming. Do you think Imper Imperial Recruiter could be printed in my Modern Horizons? Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that could be a card that could be printed in Modern, I think. Yeah, just like design-wise and everything. I don't think that's like too good for Modern or anything. That, and I think it would fit in Modern. Yeah, that could be. Techstar, with the sub for the fourth month in a row. Stream is always great. Happy to support here. Hope today's stream goes great. Thanks, Techstar. It's going great now because of you. So thank you so much. That is sub number three on the day. All right, we got one out of four Vraskas. Yep, we're almost there. <laughs> uh, 
We're basically there already. <laughs> Vivian is the best Fresca. <laughs> basically. Till it's gone. There we go. That's that's the plan. I'm trying to get I'm gonna try to try to have all four Vraskas on the battlefield. As the person that donated for the deck said they'll they'll double the donation basically if uh get all the Vraskas out there. It's possible I should just be playing no Vivians and just all Vraskas. Um Try to keep that Vraska count high. Looks like our opponent's control deck, and so I want the extra branch walker. And it looks like it's Esper control with just a, you know, budget mana base here. That's what I'm guessing it is, at least. So they're shocking in. They can't have Absorb because um, of Swamp, but they could have Sinister Sabotage. I think either way, I think I'll just throw out this Merfolk Branchwalker that my opponent knows about and is probably expecting. He also says, what matchup should I board in Ral when playing Grixis Discard? Uh, I would bring it in against the mid-range and control decks. Um... The, the games that are going to go real long, that you're trying to grind your opponent down. That's where I bring it in. Yep, sure can, Spencer. And people in chat are helping you there. Mm. I have faced that costs four mana. Good choice. Uh, I don't want to give you either of these. Destroy target non-land permanent with convert mana cost three or less. Let's look for planeswalkers. All right, that one I'll take. This will not deter me. <laughs> yeah, we got Vraska Tribal today. Our first donation deck to start it off. No, don't take my Vraska! No! 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 My poor Vraska. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Yeah, back down to zero out of four Vraskas now. At least the Kaya's Wrath is gone for good. Not every fight can end in victory. Graveyard. Where's a Vraska? That's not a Vraska. Blech. So many lands. So, so, so many lands. So little Vraskas. I hope we get Vraska Scheming Gorgon so that we can give our creatures plus one, plus zero next turn. Dang. Probably better not have Settle the Wreckage. I guess I could have cast down my own creature. Nah. Basically turn cast down into uh, a shock. Mm -hmm. 
You never know. They could have like a hostage taker or something. The cast down could do something. You never know. All right, so one of our Vraskas are gone. So we have five more. Didn't see a door, so I let myself in. <laughs> try, try playing a copy of Jace to fade out the Vraskas. That's a nice, yeah, that's a good story reference. I'm only playing 24 lands, but these explore creatures can certainly help you find your lands. So that's 7, 8, 9, 10 of our lands in 19 cards. Which is, you know, not, not unreasonable to see 10 lands in 19 cards, but it's unfortunate. Hey, Batero. Hey, another land. Last three draw stops of Cast Down, Woodland Cemetery, Forest. Not good. Not good. Cry of the Carnarium was the worst card in their hand. And they finally found their second black mana. Black source. Hey, Chupacabra. We have seven more planeswalkers overall. We've drawn one of one of the eight in one fourth of our deck. Or one third of the deck. Opponent's playing pretty slow, it's just a slow death. Oh, I, I didn't turn Deckmaster on. Thank you for the reminder there. And another Chupacabra. Yeah, right? Archer Rosca would be really good. Chupacabras are about the worst creatures we could be drawing, but I mean, I guess we have we have a lot of bad draws between lands, land war elf, wild growth walker, Chupacabra. <laughs> Thanks, Bartland Ranger. Trust me. You'll yeah, I we definitely need like Screamlight quick. Company. Come on, let's get a Vraska. Any Vraska. Hooray, a Vraska. Attack. Down to three. I better not have a negate. Seriously? Bleh. Hold that thought.
<clears throat> Jay Bulls getting on uh, that Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype votes in the chat for Jay Bulls. Thanks for resubbing there for four months in a row. Getting on that four month streak. For the fourth sub of the day. Should have a decent amount of stuff in our sideboard to bring in. Man, what if what if we actually attack our opponent for lethal here? How do you beat Esper Control? Bring in all of your discard and counter magic and cut all the removal spells. Easy as that. That's a matchup you're going to be, you should be very favored in post sideboard. No, my Vraska. All right. You don't you don't need removal spells for thief in the Esper control matchup. You have you can either make them discard it, you have your own thief or nickel bolus to block it, you have Angrath still. Angrath and Ral, both of those kill it. Alright, so we have duress, drill bit. And you don't have to you just don't need to play that scared of it. That's how you, you lose is just by keeping in a bunch of removal spells that, that then they have like their Teferis and stuff like that. You just shouldn't Shouldn't play that scared of a card that they're not likely to to have. Um, maybe play two contempts. I'm not sure about find finality. Like, even like that game would find. I guess Find Finality would have been a pretty good draw. These bigger Vraskas are not going to be very good when they're not playing creatures. These are not going to be very good cards, but we're going to keep them. They would be a lot better as Carnage Tyrants, <laughs> as you could have seen from that one. I uh, did some tinkering with Soltai Shell with a Thievus Andy main deck so far. So good. I'll submit it for a donation deck soon. Awesome. Sounds good, Zerf. Yeah, Regal Gorkin cost 7 mana. <laughs> hey, what's up, King Toll? Yeah, Captain Marvel was awesome. Really enjoyed the movie. I was, pretty I was surprised at how powerful Captain Marvel was. Um... In the movie, you know, I don't want to give any spoilers or anything. Um, but I guess people say that's how powerful she is in the comic books too, so it makes sense. Um, I kind of want to just go slam Jade Light, even though it won't make Wild Growth Walker as good. Whatever. Yeah, I just want this four three down immediately on turn two. Yeah, there's just the one drill bit as a fifth discard spell uh, to get paired with the uh, to get paired with the four duresses. <laughs> wow! Wow! I was not like I would be mortifying the Jade Light Ranger, not the. Branch Walker, or not the Wild Growth Walker there. No. Uh, maybe these Explore creatures don't work out with my plan of trying to get all four Vraskas on the battlefield at the same time. Because now, just exploring this Vraska Regal Gorgon to the graveyard like I had to, now I'm not going to be able to get all four Vraskas on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, she's weaker than Thor and the Hulk in the comics? Yeah, in the movies, the Hulk is a lot less powerful than Thor or her. Um, I think I take the chemistry's insight. I, mean, I could just take the thought erasure to protect like one of my relic seekers. I guess I'll do that. He's like, if I attack with these, um, we hit them down to three. We only deal one damage for losing the Jade Light Ranger. It's just not uh, worth it too much. All right, no counter spell. No counter spell. Insight. Chemistry's insight. 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 Hooray! No counter. Hooray! You need soon. You will be left with nothing. Vraska tribal living up to the name. We play a Vraska and we win. Thanks, James. Yeah, they did have Thor OP in in the previous Avengers movie. Um, could play a couple troops. Nah, we got so we got contempt and these all these Vraskas and Vivian that can kill Lyra. We have a lot of things that can kill Lyra. Keep two uh, two Vraskas. So they have absorb and moment of craving. No, you won't, Gomez. No, I, I'll, I'm not going to be on there again. All right, so they're going to absorb. They have absorb. I, I want them to absorb the Midnight Reaper. I mean, all good targets for our opponent. I'll give them Midnight Reaper, though. Wow. All right. I'll draw my card. Ooh, that's a good card to draw. Gonna absorb this. Our opponent absorbing that like Thor absorbing a star. I guess I'm keeping on the library. I mean, if I'm ever going to get the challenge of having all four Vraskas in play, this may be the game. Would a Slesnia token type shell work better for Vraska Tribal? I don't know. I'm not sure. Hey, what's up, Yud? Yeah, it's donation deck night tonight. All donation decks. No! No, my Golgari Queen. 
How am I supposed to have every Vraska on the battlefield if you keep countering them? Okay. It's a start. Prepare the gallows. See, I wouldn't even mind if my opponent like Kaiser at the way my board. I don't I don't need to win that quickly. I'm sorry. Were you using that? No, my only copy of Regal Gorgon. Uh. All right, time to. Never mind. I don't want my opponent to Kaiser out the way my board now. Time to attack, attack him with all these creatures and put him down to zero for taking out my Regal Gorgon. Yeah, Deckmaster's on. Alright, tick up. We're, let's go get um, the Midnight Reaper back. So, even if there's like a Wrath, we draw a whole lot of cards. Cry the Carnarium would be good for the opponent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, got a couple new sponsors. Uh, I have all the, the stuff set up. I haven't done, done like the announcement thing for them yet but got two new sponsors that uh have in the info panel now got all that um they are real glasses yeah they they do have the blue light reflection um but they're not the they're not the mvmt glasses the movement glasses All right, we were one to know. But did not come anywhere close to having four Vraskas on the battlefield. In fact, we only resolved Vraska um, Relic Seeker in games two and three. So not, not even close to that one yet. Um, Druid? Huh. Cast down a branch walker. Um, that's, that's actually, I'm not, I'm not actually sure with the shipping thing. That's, that's like the, the thing I need to learn. Because that, is, that is like the, the biggest question that I get. Um, um, that is the biggest question I get. So I actually am not sure about the, the whole shipping thing. Yeah, uh, no problem, Schmunk. Yeah, I liked Captain Marvel a whole lot. I would recommend seeing it. I think it was a really good movie. Um, all right, I'll, I'll save the cast down. Death Star with the, the five-month streak. Hmm. See, I, I may need to keep this cast down for, like, um, for Hostage Taker. Why are... Why do they care about the 2-1? All right, it says 
It says they ship to everywhere in the world, including P.O. boxes in all military locations. Depending on your shipping location, you may be subject to import taxes or other fees charged by local customs. All right, what's our opponent doing over there? Just kind of chilling with that stuff. All right. So King Toll, I, I, so they should be shipping to the the European Union. <laughs> yeah, no, Dave needs to keep streaming. I'll get on him. Tell him to start streaming some more. I didn't live through hell to meet my newest friend. All right, let's have these attack here. So Branch Walker trades, trades with Reaper. I'm not losing everything again. This is gonna be a grindy game. You can't stop nature. I need. I want the scheming Gorgon. Taking the swamp, so I I know I'll definitely be able to play the Relic Seeker next turn. No one knows the wilds like this is gonna I be a do. long game. Um, they have hostage taker and hydroid crisis, so they're they're pretty favored. I have two reapers. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a good a good name as well. Uh, for the deck. Ah! Strike me, and you strike nature. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Um... I probably need to wait for finality. Usually I'd be ticking up be Vraska here. Probably just go towards like the ultimate and stuff, but with our opponent having that contempt, I'm just minusing and going with that. Alright, King Toll. Balance Take care. comes. We need to find our chupacabras. Alright, they got rid of the again. Vivian. That's good for our try to have every Vraska and Plague game. It's weird that they are willing to take the hostage shaker now. Are you, it's weird that they're willing to cast hostage shaker now. When like they could have had it like last turn and like you know they weren't able to cast their their the thing as well. Basically. Come to me. Oh, Frilled Mystic is Really powerful. Like that card a bunch. <laughs> you won't be needing that. All right, so look for Choop. That'll do. Basically, thinking if they have another.
Hey, picked it up. All right, Relic Seeker, get it done. Basically, if they had another uh, crisis, I needed an answer to it. Um, wow. The opponent didn't want to grind. They did not want to go through that. So we are two and O. Oh. With Vraska Tribal. Still our only Vraska to resolve is the Relic Seeker, right? Yeah. Um, I think I prefer Reaper instead of Treasure Map for Rakdos Midrange, I believe. It kind of depends on the rest of your deck, though. If if you have, like, two-drop creatures, I want Reaper. Um, if you're playing, like, two-drop creatures, um, you know, like Seeker Squire or whatever. You know, like, value creatures. Um, if you're not playing, like, the creatures, if you just have a bunch of spells, I'd rather have Treasure Map. Go first. And we will keep. Oh, no, we're not going first? Oh, no. We got the scheming Gorgon, though. Fortunately, scheming Gorgon may be a little expensive against Mono Red. Maybe not, though. We'll see. See what happens here. And like the land world is gonna do nothing but trade with this firebrand anyway. I'm just trading. Um this attack is kinda telling me that they want to turn on like I think they want to turn on the Whatever the, the one damage thing is for, like, light of the stage. Whatever that's called. And with the chance of them having Chain Roller also, Chain Roller is another reason to just try to trade away your land war elf. Spectacle, that thing. <clears throat> Scheming Gorgon's the best Vraska art besides Contempt. Yeah, and it wasn't ramping us to anything anyway. Now that we drew the Branch Walker, now I really want to have four mana next turn. Because next turn I really want to go Wow Growth Walker plus Branch Walker. Alright, so we didn't get to do that, but I was hoping to be able to do that. Do I have a schedule? Yeah, stream schedule, yes. Um, each and every day, 3 to 10 Eastern. So we just started about an hour ago. Um, and we'll be streaming for the next six hours. So yeah, do I stream seven hours a day at those times. And uh, our opponent... Looks like they were trying to turn on that spectacle, and they were just firing those off at us. I do not mind trading Wild Growth Walker for a shock. Oh, Chain Whirler I do kind of mind. That one I don't like as much. Yeah, I don't like that one as much. Because I could get the Wild Growth Walker back if it was like a, a shock, wouldn't care as much. All right, so next turn we can scheming Gorgon this chain whirler. Hey, Otis, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. 
Thank you kindly. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the 12-hour uh, stream, though. So 12-hour streams I do from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So I'm on all day uh, if we hit like any of these 12-hour goals. These are all separate 12-hour stream goals uh, that we have here on the channel. I'm trying to hit any of them. Yep, I am now in the uh, Let's Gain Some Life camp. And I don't think I'm going to be blocking with Wild Growth Walker now. I think I'll just be chumping the Chain Whirler with something else. Uh, especially because of the Firebrand that can deal one damage. Um, that's pretty rude. Yeah, that factor definitely hurt. We need to draw Jade Light. Jade Light, Jade Light, Jade Light. I do take the deck sub submissions. Um, yep, and like these are all uh, donation decks that we're playing here currently. Wow. Huh. We'll just block like this. So now our Wild Growth Walker won't die, but we'll be able to kill these other things. They're tapped out. We don't have to worry about the Wild Growth Walker dying. The Scheming Gorgon. Um, they could have Haste Creature. Attacking for twos is not very much. Oh, maybe that's what we need. We need Druidic Valve for it to be able to get all four out in play. Maybe I should have made a Druidic Valve Vraska deck. Oh, that that could have been how I could, could have got all the Vraskas in play. Um, I don't really play the other formats, though. No, I just play Standard here. Um, you know, lots of different brews and everything. Um, but I used to play all the other formats and stuff, but... Uh, whenever I used to travel to, to tournaments more and everything, but I am just... Just a standard streamer now. All right, they're turning on spectacle yet again. Is there? Third Firebrand. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'll keep that one on top of my library, please. Thank you. Alright. Give my creatures plus one, plus zero. Look at that powerful Planeswalker getting some work done. Have you ever seen Vraska Scheming Gorgon single-handedly beat Mono Red? Well, I haven't either seen the single-handedly, but it's doing some work. It killed a Chain Whirler and gave my creature plus one. Dealt five damage instead of four. We can kill another Chain Whirler. Vraska Powerhouse. <laughs> what a horrible plus effect. <laughs> it's not the best. It's not the best. Good job, Vraska. Scheming Gorgon. I'm going to use four Mythic Wild Cards on this OP Plane Talker. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> Why is that Vraska in the deck? Because we're playing Vraska Tribal. That was our challenge, is to play a deck with all four Vraskas in it. So we have the Scheming Gorgon. We have the Regal Gorgon. Hey, there's the Regal Gorgon. Let's keep the Regal Gorgon on top. 
Should we? Uh, it probably goes to the graveyard. At this point in the game. Um, the Memorial of the Folly next turn can get back the Jade Light again. Gain more life. There's Golgari Queen. Speaking of Vraskas. Man, if I would have ticked up my other Vraska, maybe I could have actually, instead of minusing on the Chain Whirler and just sat back and like blocked with Wild Growth Walker. Man, maybe I could have done it. I could have maybe done it. Had all the, the Vraskas in play this game. Honestly, I, you know, like, I probably could have. If I would have just sat back and not attacked at all. If I just don't kill the Chain Whirler, keep ticking this up. Get this one. Use this one to kill the Chain Whirler. And then we could add this one and this one. Yeah, we almost had it. That's crazy that we found all the, the other Planeswalkers in the next few cards. Yeah, that is, that is true. We have to decide what we want to do. Do we want to try to win or get all the Vraskas on the battlefield? Gain life. Oh, yeah, a lethal. Yeah. I'd rather gain life, though. It's against a red deck. Okay, the opponent doesn't want to take it. Yeah, I just minus the, the Golgari, Golgari Queen on, on their thing. I want to try to play the other Planeswalker. I wanted to at least have two Frascas in play, but they didn't chump. All right, contempt, moment, moment. Um, I can play all these duresses. Unfortunately, this really is not a matchup for these two Frascas. Sorry, Frascas. I mean, Land of War Elves aren't very good, as we saw that game. Maybe I'll get some of these. Vivian's back. Alright, gotta play one more card. Hmm. Um, I guess Scheming Gorgas Plus has okay synergy with Judith, I suppose. Um, yeah, I could play the one bit or a harpooner. I think I'm just going to play a harpooner. Just kind of chill in here and just block. Vraska's Conquistador, 1B, Creature, Vampire, Soldier, 2-1. When, Va when Vraska's Conquistador attacks or blocks, if you control a Vraska Planeswalker, target opponent loses 2 life, and you gain 2 life. So basically, always it'll be a 1B, 2-1. Just not very likely that we have Vraska Planeswalkers out whenever a 2-mana two 2-1 two is actually attacking or blocking. But it does say Vraska. Yeah, I probably should have gone Druidic Val. Um, uh, should have, should have probably gone that um, route, if you know, with the goal being to get all all the Vraskas on the battlefield. This deck like will win 
win more matches. This is like a, a good deck at winning matches, but maybe not a good deck at getting every single Vraska on the battlefield. Yeah, all, all four decks for today were all donation decks. Yeah, opponent's hand is not good. It just got a lot better. That just got a lot better. So now I can't really play the Wow Growth Walker on turn two like I wanted to. Like, I want to play Wow Growth Walker here, uh, but now we know they have Lightning Strike chilling here. Um... I guess I'm just going to cast down this thing. Because they're they're not playing Chain Whirler this turn because then they just lose the Lightning Strike. They're just firing off Lightning Strike this turn. Alright, now we need to dodge these two being a removal spell for Wild Growth Walker. Alright, that one's not it. No. Built. Sure. Just keep that and make this Jade Light a 4-3. 4-3 is pretty big. You know, next turn, like, they, they play Chain Whirler. We Chupacabra the Chain Whirler. Yeah, presumably they would have attacked with the Haster, but why... Why wait? What's what's the point of waiting? We already knew what our opponent was going to be doing the next turn. They could have possibly drawn, like, the 1-2 the haste creature. You know, like, the 1-2 that the gains haste, like the 2-2 two, two haster. But I think I'd probably rather still kill the Firebrand. I think Firebrand, like, res responsing and killing these things could... Like, basically, I wasn't scared of that creature. I'd rather kill Firebrand. And there's a chance that they don't attack. You know, it's not a it's not a very big chance, but what if for some reason they don't attack, and then I have to take one uh, to use the cast down? The upside's just not there for waiting. Yeah, there's a Vraska card. We got a Vraska card. Oh, you, opponent shouldn't have scooped already. You never know. Like, yeah, they could just draw an experimental frenzy and then go crazy in a couple turns. Like, experimental frenzy could do a ton. Like, I don't know if they're playing experimental frenzy. You know, if they hit, like, Frenzy, then Shock one of these, and then, um, you know, un untap and do a bunch. I have 44 cards left in, in the deck. Naya Domri. I mean... I like both of those words. There could be a Naya Domri deck out there. You can have like all the explore creatures and then all the angels and the Domries to minus and get whatever you want. That thing says gain life. So they could have like a light of the stage. Or a mountain. All 
All right, we are three zero with Nebraska Tribal. Gari cards are pretty good. Hey, Dad. Been a long time since I catched a live one, so I'm glad to be back. I'm glad you're back, too. <laughs> Alright, we're 3 0, moving on. Yeah, it is donation deck day. Donation deck day. Tomorrow we're gonna have 12 hour stream day. All right, this is a good hand, good hand. You're welcome, Mr. Rami. Um, or M. Rami. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, no, the movie was really good. Yeah, I liked it quite a bit. Talked about that one earlier. Um, yeah, I thought it was, uh, yeah, I thought it was an awesome movie and really liked watching it. That was, uh, Talking about Captain Marvel, I went and saw that yesterday. No, yet I think that means not ranked. The event that I think uh, Rami's talking about the event, um, you know, where you pay gold and enter, and it's not ranked. Yeah, mono blue is gonna be a little tough for us with this hand here. I would like to play Jade Light next turn, I think, but yeah, you know, I think I'd rather play Jade Light over Midnight Reaper. Um, but we don't have the second green. Yeah, they don't did not have curious obsession, so that makes it a lot better for us. And we drew the green for for Jade Light, so that also makes it better for us. <laughs> yeah, Jelly, we've been we've had uh, some quick matches here. Explore, then explore again. Man, this this may not be a quick match, though, if our opponent's going to take this long for decisions. Um, I mean, finality is amazing in this matchup. Yeah, I'm going to keep this on top. Cranky says, hey, Todd, I've been on a massive losing streak today and yesterday with decks I've been doing well with. Up until then, what is your best way to reevaluate and rally from the streak? Or, I guess, how do you handle it? Um, I think one thing is just understanding that streaks do happen like that. Um, they are really frustrating. Um, even um, probably a week or two ago. Yeah, probably a week or two ago, um, I was playing uh, matches with with decks that I usually did did well with. Huh? Didn't even keep Siren Storm Tamer up. Um, yeah, and, and I lost ten matches in a row here on Arena to just um, you know opponents always having everything they needed and you know or me mulliganing all all that kind of stuff. And uh, this is off stream, like when I was like practicing with like some other decks. Practicing like a deck, a couple of decks for uh, for some friends. Um, 
But man, it was yeah, it was real frustrating. And you know, I didn't never lost like ten in a row. Like I actually lost like ten straight matches. Lost every single match. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, so basically, uh, what I'm saying is that it happens to everybody. And and even like you know, playing decks you think are good, just all you, all you can do is you know try to try to really uh, focus on what's going on in the matches and and why you're losing. Um, and if there are, you know, things that you can be implementing, um, you know, if, like, are you losing because of decisions you made or, you know, is just, you know, variance hitting you? Um, like, what decisions could you have made better? Um, all that kind of stuff. Really, the thing with magic is um, just trying to learn and grow and, and everything. Just, just know from the beginning you're not going to win all your, your matches. And you're gonna go on losing streaks. You're gonna have winning streaks as well. Um, you're gonna have them both, and it's okay. But just try to try to always figure out what's going on and, and learn and and grow. That's that's all you can do. So before I killed the Siren Storm Tamer instead of the Heralds because the Storm Tamer could protect a, a more, um, a bigger threat. Um, you know, such as a Tempest Gen. So if they have Counterspell here plus or like dive down. Wild animals I love. This is nothing. They do not. Say so they had that plus land drop. They may have just had land drop and wanted to have lethal with the land drops there. Svet so says that changing even a single card in a deck you play can help break the losing streak. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Yud? Thanks for getting that hype in the chat. All right, what do we got against Mono Blue? We got Duress, and we got Kral Harpooner. Wow, I got a lot. Crushing Canopies, those are good. Contempt, Drill Bit, Moment of Craving. What if we bring in all 15? What if we just play 75? What do y'all think, play 75? How is the Black Vraska better than Relic Seeker? Uh, it's not. All right, I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to cut our cool Vraskas in this matchup. And Reaper. And this Druid. And this Drill Bit. And I have too many good cards here. Uh, these Vraskas are going to come on out. Um, find finalities out. This is 65. Gonna take out Moment of Craving. And... I mean, I, I do want the Planeswalkers as, like, extra... Uh, I need these. I don't know. I guess the canopies. Maybe I don't need the elves. I mean, I, I kind of like all of those cards. Sagittar's volley over canopy in the sideboard. The main reason to have crushing canopy in the sideboard is to be able to destroy wilderness reclamation. And that volley card does not kill wilderness reclamation. So not not too interested in it. Oh yeah, can't yeah, canopy I mean three mana deal with our one mana enchantment spell that they likely already drew a card off of. I wouldn't say that's amazing. Um dealing with uh Curious Obsession. 
that is. So I like Jaylight Ranger more as a card here um, than Branch Walker. So I'll throw Branch Walker out as like the test spell. Um, it also allows us to allows us to attack with Llanowar Elf. This is kind of really easy to do. Hmm. I wonder if I could have cut lands. I don't really want to attack into a trickster. Or a potential trickster there. Oh yeah, Canopy taking out like Jin and stuff like that is is certainly really good. I, I don't mind Canopy. I mean, like I, like I said when I was boarding, I, I like Canopy. On the play, I think I can take out Landwar Elf probably for Canopy. I, I was worried about on the draw being a little slower and wanting the Landwar Elf for like for one of the speed there. Um... Better chance we get to double spell with Harpooner next turn. And with them not playing the Trickster the previous turn, I just kind of figured they didn't have a Trickster. Back to Storm Tamer. That's really nice that they sacked their Storm Tamer there. Because now not only do not only does the Harpooner just kill that 2-2 Storm Tamer for free, but it's also on the battlefield to block the Terramander. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, they do have the mana to adapt to the Terramander. It, it taps them out, um, but they can't. They can't adapt it to get above the Harpooner. All right, so it taps them out. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, do I just have lethal? Wait. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, that's just lethal. Alright, no blocks. So they could draw a land. They could have a land. I, I guess they have not played a land yet, so they could have played a land. They should do that after I block. They should attack, I block, and then after they block, pump. That would make more sense. Alright, so... Yeah, they could have had land and chump blocker. So, they, yeah, they could have had that. Final boss already in the stream. We are already there. 4-0. We even have an extra life with Vraska Tribal. Explore creatures are great. Hey, Danny with the Twitch Prime sub. Sub number eight on the day. Ooh, I guess I'm behind one. And that's a great hand. We're on the draw, though. Thank you so much, Danny. Welcome to the channel. Hope you get your uh, hype... Or, sorry, get your final boss emotes out there. There we go. Get your brand new final boss emotes. 
out there. Thanks, Danny. All right, Doom Waffle. Have a uh, good day at work. Mountain, mountain. It's a good Jade Light Ranger. Because it can just trade with the Reveler. Alright, not so good of a Jade Light Ranger now. Yeah, best... So there's... Yeah, there's two ways to... If you're, you know, buying the cards on Arena, there's two ways to go about it. You can either just buy packs, crack them open, um, and then use the WoW cards on whatever cards you need. Or you can also uh, use your gems to, to draft. And drafting... Um, I believe is the best way to build like your collection as a whole. Um, I think it's it's a lot better value than just cracking up open packs. But you also have to do pretty well with drafting, or not not necessarily that well, honestly. The their traditional draft you do have to do well. That one that one you don't get very good value if you lose your matches in. Um, the ranked draft though. Playing ranked draft, uh, you honestly do get good value even if you're losing. You get um, just as good or better value than just opening the packs by themselves. Sealed is another good option. You, you get really good value with sealed also even if you're losing. Um, so, both of those. Right now, the ranked draft, though, is Rivals of Ixalan currently. And so I wouldn't really recommend doing that with Rivals of Ixalan. That's not the best value. It does take a lot more time. Yeah, it's it's something to do if you if you like drafting. I'd recommend it. If you don't like it, then you know you shouldn't do it. Kind of thing. Um. My mission is more valuable than your life. I think I have to minus here. I think if I tick up... Our opponent can use like all their mana and, and throw like their three goblins and basically kill me. Um, I kind of want to kill the treasure cove, but if or the treasure map. If, but if I would have killed the treasure map, my opponent had lethal on the battlefield there uh, with their goblins. So I had to just kind of do that. Um, I have. I don't think I've played a Moldrotha deck. It's not recently. Um, I don't think that. Uh, I guess I'm playing the Choop. Yeah. I don't think you need to average three wins minimum in like the the ranked draft. Um. If you look at just like strictly gems perspective, um, buying three packs, or yeah, like buying three packs costs 600 gems. If you do, um, if you do ranked draft for 750 gems, you get your three packs that you open and you draft so you can even like you know you get to rare draft so you it's it's a little more beneficial than just opening three packs um for 750 gems plus if you go 03 if you go lose 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 um you still get 50 gems back so it it actually only costs 700 so it costs an extra 100 um plus you get uh You also get, I, I think you get a prize pack, even if you go 03. If not, you get a percentage towards a prize pack. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but I know that going 03 is still basically the same value as just opening the packs in general. 
you don't get the progress towards the wild card when you're drafting, but the rare drafts, rare drafting is nice. Um, you get one pack guaranteed. Okay, so yeah, so for an extra hundred gems, you get, you, yeah. So usually four packs would cost eight hundred gems. Four packs with that cost seven hundred. Uh, so it actually saves a hundred gems. But three of the packs don't. While while three of the packs don't go towards wild card completion, you do get to rare draft, and that's just going zero and three. And so even 0-3, I think, is, is worth it. But then, you know, like, if you actually win some, you do a lot better. And if you get to, like, four or five or six wins, it's something like that. I think, like, five or six wins, um, you know, it's, like, just a free draft and, and so on. But, so doing that drafting really is a, is a good deal. Instead, of, If you're just going to, like, open four packs with 800 gems, you should be just drafting instead. And plus... It does take a while, but drafting is really good practice. It's it's honestly probably the best way to get better at magic is drafting. That's very, very good practice. All right, anyway, we're playing against uh, Rakdos mid-range. They're going to have... Let's see, I want this extra Contempt, I think. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I probably want the extra Contempt. We're going to have like Angrath and stuff like that. I don't really know what I don't want. Maybe I just keep it the same. Maybe I... They're a Chain Whirler deck. Maybe we cut some of these Land War Elves. The games go long anyway. Let's, yeah, let's cut the Land War Elves. Let's bring in a Contempt. Um, maybe I want some Discard, honestly. Get a couple Duress. And a Moment of Craving to kind of do something. Let, give me this thing back. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just kind of play two Duresses to do something. Um, this is 59. Give me this moment back. Okay. Alright, we got uh, Wild Growth Walker, Branch Walker, which is pretty nice. Uh, for If you're an experienced drafter and really good at drafting, then um, I recommend doing the traditional. Uh, it's it's like higher stakes. like You get a, a lot less for losing, but you get a whole lot more for winning kind of thing. Uh, and It's also like sideboarding, which is like, you know, it's best two out of three. You get to sideboard. It's usually uh, good for somebody who has uh, done a lot of those. If, yeah, I just want this thing out of there. If you're like newer to drafting and everything, then I then I recommend the ranked. Uh, the ranked is a lot better value. That's the one that's like good value, even if you owe three, um, kind of thing. But right, like currently, right this second, ranked draft is for is is uh, rivals of Ixalan for just some weird reason that who knows. So I would, I would probably recommend waiting until it goes back to Ravnica Allegiance or Guilds of Ravnica or something like that. Um... I just want to get this theater out of here. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. <laughs> get that out of here. Yeah, it changes back this weekend. I saw that it, it looked like it changed in like 40 something hours or whatever whenever I was looking earlier, so. Use of that laser. Not bad for a mouse. Hmm. So we're just going to take another three, go down to 11. I, my friends down. I guess we're getting two, so we're going to, to 13. But I'm just taking out there. 
Uh, repetitive card advantage effects. Ooh, that's good. And our our jade lights have been pretty good. I mean, both of our jade lights have been divination jade light. Um, which, you know, like whenever you're playing a, a longer grindier game like this is perfect. Yeah, real clutch draw there. Eldest Reborn is certainly annoying because they have... They have a uh, Vivian they can they get to go get back. I'm just gonna keep this forest in hand to discard. I guess I could discard the Midnight Reaper actually. Yeah, I don't think I'd want a second Midnight Reaper. Actually, I mean I'm at millions of life now. So find plus Jade Light plus Branch Walker. Yeah, I'm just going to discard the, the Midnight Reaper. Next turn, um, get back my two Jade Lights with the find and cast find Jade Light and Branch Walker. I guess I'd maybe take the Wild Growth Walker and do that plus Jade Light. Could you explain to a new player where the deck names come from? Yeah, those are just like names for the different colors, like just kind of like uh, story-wise uh, throughout like uh, like Magic Story. Um, the two color names are all different. They're all um, they call them the guilds in Ravnica. Interesting. Took another Chain Whirler, so they want to be able to have... Ah, uh, they want to put the Wall of First Strikes. Our opponent's got the Wall of First Strikes going. Difficult to attack through all that. Um, But we drew a Golgari Queen. Cast down, kill another one, and there we go. That is a 5 and 0 oh. with Vraska Tribal. Again, it's a 2100 gems. Even got upgraded to a Mythic, so we got, or sorry, 2100 gold, the 60 gems. And yes, we just kind of won with Vraska Tribal because of um, how good the. Uh, explore packages with Wild Growth Walker and Jade Light and and Branch Walker. Jade Light and Branch Walker in particular um, are awesome. Um, but yeah, living that five win dream. So uh, we did get to play the uh, Scheming Gorgon. Uh, we got to play this card and kill two Chain Whirlers uh, with a minus, a plus, and then a minus. Um, Relic Seeker was obviously really good. Golgari Queen did a little bit, not a whole, not a ton, but it did a little bit. I don't think I ever got to play this card. Oh, we did, we did play it, and then he got against Esper Control, and we tried to put a counter on our v Ravenous Chupacabra when they were at three, um, but they just contempted this to gain two life, and then also mortified the Chupacabra. I think that was the only time we got to play the Regal Gorgon. Uh, no, this is not a very hit or miss deck. Um, this, this engine of Branch Walker, Wild Growth Walker, Jade Light, uh, and then also Chupacabra, Vivian, Fine Finality, those cards are all top tier cards. Like, they're just amazing. So, that's what we want our, our, uh, games on the back of, of those. Um, we have some Braskas in here, which, you know, would have got the, a big donation if we would have, um, 
gotten all four Vraskas on the battlefield at the same time. Unfortunately, never were able to. In fact, I don't even know if we even got two Vraskas on the battlefield at the same time, even. Um, so, yeah, basically, Overtone, you have a, that's, that's pretty good. Their regular Golgari like this is uh, faster and more consistent than Sultai, because uh, you're not a three-color deck, but you're not as powerful. Like, um, having Hydroid Crisis and um, Hostage Shaker is going to make you a more powerful deck. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, good payoff there for the first uh, time for Vraska Tribal. All right, so um, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube... Hey, thanks, Jeff. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Um, we are almost getting to our 2,000 sub, uh, 2,000 YouTube sub goal for YouTube. Uh, we'll be doing another 12-hour stream whenever we get that. Um, each one of these are their own individual 12-hour stream goals. Uh, but that's it for Vraska Tribal. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.